Okay, so let's revise what we have done so far, starting once more with the power supply, followed by your switching circuit over here, and we made an audio amplifier out here. So whatever audio is received would be amplified as a normal amplifier. And the next stage that we are going to make in this section is going to be your side tone oscillator. This section on the right hand side corner, lower corner on right hand side, right below the switching circuit is a side tone oscillator which is going to generate the sound for your Morse key. It comprises of four transistors, one, two, three and four. This is BC547 or you could use BC147. This is 548. Both are in plastic body. And this is 177. These are the two transistors, uh, 177. There is a preset out here, one preset out here, and associated uh, couple of diodes. This is one, and this is two, one and two, and then this is diode number three. A bit of capacitors here. Yes. Have a look at the circuit diagram for the exact rating and the purpose of, of the circuit. <coughs> now what happens is if everything is working fine from here this point this pin over here you give a jumper onto this place to the audio amplifier. Okay take care of the polarity there is a small G written out here so this is the ground make sure you match the ground with the ground out here there is a small G written here as well. If everything is fine, make sure that there is no short circuit. You haven't connected by mistake anything which is inappropriate and not as per circuit. Make sure the values are right. And this is my shortcut of connecting or giving the supply. Uh, this white lead is going to the base of the jumper I just mentioned. Right here, it's going to the base of this jumper. So, if you are confident that whatever you have done is right, and you trace it back with the circuit and make sure everything is good. If the supply is on, you don't need to press PTT to test this section. All you got to do is short these two pins, which will act as a key for your Morse code. It's, it's going to act as a Morse key, and this speaker would give you the audible uh, tone of 800 hertz, which is audible tone, and you would get that did, 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 whichever way you press the speedity, you're going to hear the sound. So what we're going to do is in the next section, uh, maybe after making the mic amplifier, I'll switch on the board and you can listen to how the sound would be.